Hey, thanks for checking in. Made it through the first week. Not too bad, not too shabby. I still haven't eaten yet. It's been about a um, little over five days and I am getting prepared to eat, but also wanted to explain a little bit of how and why I set this up the way I did. A little bit of what I didn't mention last time, but along the lines of the amount of time that I will be um, not eating, I want to record that. You know, so if at the moment I would estimate, because I didn't get the exact time, but I could estimate when I stopped eating, it was uh, very late Sunday night, Monday morning. So it's probably been five days and a couple hours, maybe a few hours or so. And I'm not sure if I'm going to eat right after I uh, make this video, but I'm going to keep track of that. I got a calendar right here. I'm going to write that all down. The other thing that I'm going to write down is the other time gap period of when I start eating and when I stop eating. And I need to do this because the reason I'm not just doing it um, because basically it's just not eating Monday through Friday. Though on Saturday I could start eating earlier or later depending on my sleep patterns. That makes a big difference for this. And for me, like right now, I don't know if I'm going to be falling asleep um, anytime soon or if I'm going to fall asleep, uh, like the last few days, I've had so much more energy and everything, I haven't fallen asleep sometimes till the afternoon. But then you wake up later, so it starts to get into a cycle or a habit or whatever. So um, right now it's about, um, well, just to uh, show a little proof for anyone who needs uh, that just at the moment. And remember, I still haven't eaten, but what I'll do is that this calendar right here I'll mark down each time each day on Saturday and I can't play the Saturday song because it's early in the a.m. right now don't want to wake people up um, let's see here okay let me see I don't know if you can see that one second alright 5.26 a.m. you can see it's the third Saturday morning just to prove it to anyone who needs proof. And just to keep, you know, um, track and keep a record, you know, of this whole thing. And planning if I'm able to do it for a long time. I mean, I was kind of thinking that um, what John did, uh, John Turmel, when he did it for his 18 weeks, that's pretty, that's a long period of time, you know. Um, doing it that long, I would just be matching what he's doing. And that's pretty remarkable but I should be able to go longer and I'm doing it a lot easier I'm doing it um, very structured I'm keeping track of a lot of things um, I'm probably eating a lot healthier than him and, and I'm not saying this in any kind of negative way towards him I'm actually saying the way that I am uh, doing this should be easier also so I should be able to go longer just based on that um, he was eating less than once per week, almost once per week or so. But that's just, I think, one meal. He didn't spread it out like I'm going to do. And I think the way I'm doing it will be a little healthier as far as like what I'm going to start with today. I have some watermelon that's almost going to go bad anyway, so maybe I will eat it pretty soon. I've had that watermelon in there since last weekend, and it was like partially eaten. as like a half of one, and with a few bites taken out, so... It really needs to be eaten. I'm going to probably look forward to it. And it's watermelon anyway, so that's a good thing to start with. The juicier um, fruits. Um, definitely start with those. Wake up the digestive system. Let, you know, go a little easy on it. It's better for stuff that's better for you anyways, fruits anyways. So I'm um, going to start there. I don't know if um, I'll, I'll let you know. Well, all I'll do is I'll mark it so then I'll have the record and everything. But if I start earlier, I might have to consider ending the eating period of time earlier on Sunday instead of Sunday night, maybe Sunday evening. And then I'll have the hours kept track of or whatever. But, um, you know, at first it's probably not too big of a deal to have a bigger time period, you know, for the first, you know, first week or two or whatever. And then as uh, time goes on, as the weeks go on, shrink that a little bit you know into getting closer to what John was doing and only having one meal because that would be literally eating only 
one hour per week. Um, one or two hours depending on how long it takes you to eat. But at the same time, I think it's better to kind of lengthen it out and, and go slow. So eat for, even if it was one meal, maybe take your time. You know, eat something depending on, depending on what you're eating as well. So that's the first update for now. And we'll have more to come. And this should be a good adventure. I got through it all right. Just had some temptation. Was kind of uh, probably awake because I was looking forward to eating. So there's that as well. Just, that's all it is. Temptation. No hunger. Only felt that really on the second day. A little detox. No big deal.